What's up everybody, Simon here, and today I wanted to go ahead and do an unboxing of, in my opinion, the hardest credit card to get, the American Express Centurion card. Now this unboxing is of the replacement credit card that you would get if, say, you lose or damage your existing credit card. This isn't the box that you would get when you are invited and finally approved to be a member. This is just the replacement. However, let's take a look and see what's inside as well. Before I get into this video, go ahead, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. As always, I appreciate it. Let's get into this video. So the American Express Centurion card, I've done a review on this card already. You could check that out on the video here. And I've also done the Centurion Magazine review, which shows you what kind of clientele the Centurion card actually has or what they seek in terms of luxury goods. Recently, my credit card was damaged and I got a replacement credit card sent out and I figured I'd unbox it and give you guys a perspective of what's included in this little box. So let's take a look. As you can see here, the box is very similar to the American Express Platinum card that I've done in the past. In fact, if you check out my Platinum video, you'll see that this box is about the same size and length and, um, and width, and you'll see that they're very similar in terms of what's included. So let's take a look. As I unbox it, you have your Centurion slogan here. This credit card here is not an active credit card and you will not be able to uh, use it on the internet or anything like that. So these numbers have been voided and canceled. So do not try to use it or do and waste your time. Uh, but basically the credit card comes in a box like this. In this sleeve here, you get a little envelope. So in this envelope, you'll be getting a Centurion letterhead with my name on it. And it really just says replacement and has some card information as well. So nothing really detailed. Now you get a message, confirm that you've received your credit card by visiting americanexpress.com, confirm card or call the number. I personally never confirm the card. I just use it and it reactivates. And then as you flip up the little booklet, you have this little pull tab here. And this little pull tab will allow you to pull out all of your stuff from the tab and that's pretty much the box. So this guys is the box of the Centurion card and it's very similar to the box that you'll see on the Platinum card. Again, that video is available. Very uh, similar situation. And let's go over some of these things they advertise with the Centurion card. So made for life and style. So Saks Fifth Avenue, they do give you that $1,000 Saks Fifth Avenue credit and basically if you're using the Centurion card at Saks Fifth Avenue, you get up to $250 in quarterly statement credits exclusive, um, and access to ex exclusive shopping experiences. So Saks Fifth Avenue sometimes has events. Now you get invited to these events and now you're getting $250 uh, quarterly for four quarters. That's $1,000 part of this card. Again, the Centurion credit card membership is $5,000 fee annually, plus a one-time membership fee of $10,000 to become a member of American Express Centurion Club. Having a $1,000 credit just to kind of alleviate some of that membership fees does help annually. So that brings you down to $4,000. The next card you have here is fit in a workout in almost any city. And I think that's the Equinox membership. So the Equinox destination membership access, focus on fitness in select cities with Equinox destination uh, access membership on us. Enjoy access to 100 plus fitness clubs across the US, Canada, and the UK. So they give you a Equinox membership here. Now Equinox is currently closed because of uh, COVID-19. What they have enabled because of it being closed is actually a app that they de developed for online classes or workout classes through your app. Okay, the next one, enjoy solitude and tranquility at LAX. All right, this is an interesting one. A PS membership and complimentary visit. PS is a private terminal removed from the lines and traffic at LAX. Centurion members now have access and an annual complimentary visit to a new space within PS created exclusive for Centurion. So this is pretty neat and exclusive if you live in LAX, you get some private access for Centurion members at LAX airport. Now I'm in the San Francisco area, so I probably will not use that 
at all. So navigate the airport like a local. So Centurion Arrival and Departure Services. Move through departures and arrivals with ease. We'll meet and guide you to your gate through customs and to your car at select domestic and international airports. I'm curious to see what qualifies for this. So basically they're meeting you at the airport and guiding you through customs and the terminal. That's really interesting. Wonder what service that is or they just help you carry your luggage or whatever it may be. Let's take a look at the next benefit. Benefits to make your every stay memorable. So Centurion Fine Hotels and Resorts program. I'm a big fan of this. I've covered this again in my last video. You get a lot of perks for being a Centurion member as well as a Platinum member with their Fine Hotels and Resorts program. You're getting room upgrades, late checkouts, early check-ins, most of the time breakfast for two, that's complimentary. And there are other benefits as well that they offer with the Fine hotels and resorts and this makes it a very memorable experience for me personally every time I stay at one of their high-end resorts. All right, the next one, elevate each step of the way. So Delta, Delta used to be a really great partnership with Centurion and still is. But what Delta has done is they made their miles evaluation to take a first class flight or a business class flight a lot less rewarding for the user. So it takes more points to enjoy that mileage program. And that's why I'm not a big fan of Delta at this time. So it says upgrade your experience from departure to arrival, enjoy priority boarding, complimentary upgrades when available, and avoid baggage fees on your first bag. So this is pretty neat uh, in a sense because if you're buying a economy ticket, you may get upgraded to business class depending on where you are traveling if it's available. I used to use this all the time when American Express was a member of the uh, United Airlines and Continental program. On United flights, I would get upgraded all the time to first or business. They are no longer members. However, with Delta, you still have a membership and you do qualify for potential upgrades when you book uh, with your American Express Centurion card. Now these memberships are also available of course with uh, the Platinum card as well except for some of the uh, other rewarding things like Saks Fifth Avenue with the Platinum card. I believe it's only $200 a year. There are other benefits and perks to this card as well. The purpose of this video were was to just show you how a replacement box looks. So the last little brochure or I guess pamphlet they give you is take off as soon as you land. So Hertz Platinum status, a smooth ride awaits, it says. Have your vehicle delivered curbside to you at participating locations and you get a four hour grace period on returns. This is a neat one. I've actually had people at LAX when my family and I flew in. Hertz representative picked me up, drove me to the Hertz location one time to do paperwork that I missed. And another time they just pick you up and give you the car right then and there. And you could actually drop it off at the airport as well and they take care of it. Or they will drive with you to the airport to drop you off so you're not having to worry about catching any buses or anything like that. So it's more of a private chauffeur type service where they pick you up, they drop off the car curbside and you're ready to go. So it's pretty neat. Okay, what else do you get? So you get, this is all your benefits kind of in here also explained in a little bit more detail as to these six tiles that they had. And that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna go in and read all these obviously for you but that's kind of what they are giving you. And then card take back and recycling program. So please send your existing card back to American Express for destruction and recycling. For your security and convenience, we have enclosed a postage paid envelope, place the card inside, drop it off at USPS, and that is it. So technically they want you to send this card back using this envelope. And that is everything that comes with your Centurion credit card, guys in this box that's a re replacement box so i'm glad i got a chance to unbox it today all right do i still use the centurion credit card as my main credit card absolutely i love this credit card uh, it has a pretty much it's limitless it's an invite only credit card it gives me the ability to purchase things that i normally would not be able to buy 
uh, with other credit cards because of limits. So if I'm buying, say, a luxury watch that costs 60, 50,000 or so forth, I put it on the American Express. If uh, I also know that with American Express, I have 30 days to pay off that watch. And this is a charge card. You got to pay it off every month. However, you could also extend that 30 days to 60 days. They will not report you or it will not close your account if you are late. Uh, on your 30 day payment. There is no fee as well that I've incurred in the past when I have not paid this on time or let's say I missed a payment and then I paid in 45 days or whatever it may be. The American Express card is probably the hardest credit card to get. I mentioned that before in my videos. I would say it compares to the JP Morgan Reserve card. I've done a review on that as well. However, this is just way more exclusive in my opinion. It definitely is an invite only credit card and there is a link in the description if you want to request to be invited for this card and if you could afford the $10,000 one-time membership fee plus a $5,000 annual membership fee. So it's $15,000 to have this card in the first month. Check out my other videos on this credit card. If you have any questions, always uh, ask below I answer all the questions and as a Centurion member very excited to be one I use a lot of their perks and benefits I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video of the replacement credit card that would come if your original credit card is damaged or stolen or anything of that matter go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you like content like this as always I appreciate it and I'll catch you guys here next time thank you